questions as we go. So, uh, Cody, go ahead and start off with uh, Chad. Chad, congratulations uh, on the win. You had, you seem to be all over the place today. Did uh, did you just have a feeling today that you were after watching film that you were gonna be as uh, as good as you were? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a lot of just the preparation that our coaches gave us, and I think that helped us play fast today. I think uh, the defense as a whole, we're just communicating really well. We would see something, um, and then we could play really fast off of that because we're all communicating together. So I think it was just the defense as a whole was just talking to everyone so we could know what we had to go against. I'm wondering, Chad, what your thoughts were when they go five plays, 75 yards, score a touchdown there at the end. What's going through your mind when they get two 21-yard th uh, runs in a row and – get in the end zone there late yeah no I mean it, those plays happen and so I think it's just kind of uh, my thought process is just getting the defense together and just telling them that we're all right still that we still gotta you know battle back because we're not we're not out of this by any means and even if they get down there a couple plays we can still battle back and get a ball get the ball out or get a stop or get them to kick a field goal so it's all really just talking to the defense and just making sure that everyone's ready to still play Chad, um, y'all really kept them in it, you know, early on, especially in those first couple quarters. What was the thing that impressed you the most about the defense today? Uh, I, that, I think just going on to that point is just how we communicated together uh, and just how we played together really as a defense. I think that was the most impressive thing. Um, so I was really happy to see everyone making tackles, going out and playing together. Chad, you guys have been talking about Sean Chambers and the offense and their improvement during camp. It took a while, but – what was it like to see them deliver at the end of the game, especially Sean to Welch on that last play? Yeah, no, it's awesome. We kind of go through those situations every week in practice where we're going two minute drill and they have to go down and make a touchdown and go and score. So it's awesome to see that the practice that they've been going through um, kind of pays off. And, you know, definitely the whole defense is excited, the whole sidelines excited. So it was great seeing those guys go out and make plays. Did you guys have more two minute drills this year than ever? Uh, I think so. During fall camp, we had a few uh, two-man drills early on just because I think as a team as a whole, we're so uh, just veterans out there. And so we were able to do some things early, get some, get all of our offensive plays in, get all of our defensive plays in early in camp so that we could have those situations later. Chad, where do you see uh, maybe the biggest area you'd like to see the defense improve before next Saturday? Yeah, I think it's just those explosive plays that they had. And so I think this just kind of has to do with the first first game, first game jitters a little bit and just – Fixing those little issues because there was a couple times where they had some big runs or big class plays. And so I think that's the biggest thing going into week two is just eliminating those plays. How shocked, How shocked are you to see, see a gold, gold jersey at your locker? I was so surprised. Uh, Coach actually announced it to us yesterday. And it was our pregame practice. And he brought us up as a team and uh, told JD to bring out the jerseys and the pants. And everyone was super surprised. I think they did a really excellent job of keeping it a secret from us. Going off of that, did you ever think that you'd uh, be wearing alternate uniforms out here at War Memorial Stadium? Never, never in my life would I think that, especially with Coach Bull. I thought it'd always just be the uh, brown and white jersey. So it was definitely really cool to see. Chad, I think you were credited with a blocked field goal. How did you get your head on that one? Yeah, so we had a, a, our field goal protection. They swam out. And so I just think that kind of disrupted the kicker a little bit. Uh, those guys up front where he had kind of kicked it lower and just. Timed it up, had my hand in the right place, and was able to get a hand on it. 